Welcome to today's Advent Prayers on Friday the 18th of December. Wherever we are, and whatever time you are joining us, we are united in God's presence and the truth of his word. We pause and then pray together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. Today we continue with our theme for the week, which is God amongst us. Psalm 145 verse 18 says, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. And so Lord, we thank you that you are near to hear, near to act, and near us by your presence. Amen. Today's reading is from a familiar story. The Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar has decreed that everyone in his kingdom must bow down and worship a gold statue of him. Three Israelite exiles, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, however, refuse to do this because they will only worship the one true God. So King Nebuchadnezzar has them thrown into a fiery furnace. Daniel chapter 3 verses 24 to 26 says, Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisers, Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, Certainly, your majesty. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. In the story, God does not so much save Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fire as save them in the fire. In fact, they are still wandering around in this fire until Nebuchadnezzar summons them out of it. Have you ever been frustrated at God's timing? Maybe wanting to run out of the furnace instead of waiting for earthly circumstances like Nebuchadnezzar's summons to bring you out? Take a minute to reflect on that with God and what might have been accomplished by the delay.
As Nebuchadnezzar notices, the three men are not wandering around alone in the fire. God has sent someone to be with them. Whether this person is Jesus or an angel or, or something else, we're not told. Angels mostly appear in the Bible as messengers. But this fourth man in the fire is notable for his presence with them, rather than any message he necessarily brings. And so, Lord, we thank you that even when we're stuck in the fiery furnace, waiting to get out, that you are present with us in the fire and not just looking on from outside. And so we spend some time now just aware of your presence with us. While it's a great story because the lives of the three men are saved, it's, it's an even greater story because of the way that Nebuchadnezzar comes to recognize through it the power of the Most High God. And so today we pray. Father, we pray for ourselves and Christians that we know that like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, our lives would identify us as servants of the Most High God and that you would use us to display your power. And in the quiet now, we bring before you our own circumstances and ask that you would use them to bear witness to yourself. And so, Lord, we draw our prayers to a close. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. If you're looking for something to make you smile, Johnny Cash sings a gospel song called The Fourth Man in the Fire about the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. The chorus goes, they wouldn't bend, they wouldn't bow, they wouldn't burn. Catchy, eh?
You can find it on YouTube. Meanwhile, have a wonderful weekend and a blessed Advent day and see you on Monday.